welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. First of all, <clears throat> if you'd like to support the channel, cash up the PayPal down there. I'd appreciate it. Also, hit the Super Thanks button on the video. But that being said, Anthony Joshua, he's got Roy Jones out there, man, that doing a kind of trial run to see if Roy Jones is the best fit for him. Sounds like he may be going with Roy Jones as a new trainer. I don't agree with that. I personally think he should be with somebody like uh, Teddy Atlas, uh, uh, Sugar Hill. However, preferably, Freddie Roach. And the reason I feel that way is because Anthony Joshua, he's Hollywood, okay? When you really think about AJ, AJ is Hollywood. He's not Pensacola, Florida, chickens, roosters running around, sheep, fish, dogs, catching bluegill out the, out, out the pond, backwards, down south. He, he's not that guy, man. He, he, he doesn't need that, okay? And Roy Jones is, Roy Jones is probably the best boxer. I mean, just amazing athleticism, amazing boxing skill, just amazing, okay? Amazing. Can't take anything from him as a boxer, but as a trainer, eh, eh, not so sure that's the answer. But Freddie Roach is the guy. Now look, man, Freddie Roach already extended the olive branch to Anthony Joshua towards the end of 2021. Matter of fact, around this time last year, to be quite, quite honest, right, one day, it was on 9 November when the article came out. He said, man, look, you know where my gym is? You can come on and, and train with me for the USIC rematch. No problem. Joshua didn't take him up on it, which to me was the problem. Now, I think had he trained with Freddie Roach, I think Joshua would have been a much, it would have been much more vicious. Much more vicious. I think he would have been in a better environment because out there in that gym, that gym, you know, they work in that gym. It's a lot of different people coming in there, a lot of celebrities. Um, and the way Anthony Joshua is with his personality, likes the camera, he likes people. I think it, it would have had him in his comfort zone because out there in the UK, he has a lot of, uh, he feels obligated to stop and talk to every fan, sign autographs, take pictures. You know, he has a, it seems from what I see, like he has a good spirit, okay? And going down to the Pensacola, Florida, unless Roy Jones is going out there to the UK, but going out there to Pensacola, Florida, where you may catch a, 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 a some mosquito. <laughs> some mosquito may bite you, give you give ass malaria, may catch monkeypox. Who knows what variant or whatever the hell virus is floating around here. He's going to get out there and there's some stagnant water. But there may be some crocodile or something running loose. You know what I'm saying? So Anthony Joshua doesn't need <clears throat> to go to Pensacola, Florida. And I make those jokes because I lived out there close to that area. I lived in uh, the Fort Walton Beach area, Destin area for about six years. So Pensacola, really, it's only like shit, 40-something miles away. So we used to go down there pretty regularly back when I was younger. Some of them little ghetto strip clubs where they had a crown roll bag and you used to you know, rip the dollar in half and put a ripped dollar in there. And I'm sure they were pissed off them girls when they went and checked the crown roll bag later that night and saw they had ripped dollars in there. So that's back in the day, back in the day. But for, for him going to California being with Freddie Roach, that's the fit. That's the fit. Man, you got to look at the guys who Freddie Roach has trained. He, I'm telling you, almost the amount of boxers, James Tony, man. I mean, damn, the list goes on and on. All these guys have come through his gym and worked with him at his gym, man. Tyson, I mean, and Freddie Roach is all about the knockout. And Freddie Roach is vicious. Freddie Roach is mean, you know, and he tries to bring that out of his fighters. You saw one of those videos, um, one of the highlights from the 24-7, Mayweather and De La Hoya. Freddie Roach was training De La Hoya. He told him, F it. This is a fight. Like, whatever. Who, who, you 
care if you hit him with an elbow. What do you care if you knock him down? What do you care if you headbutt him? Like, you're not there to fight dirty, but you're fighting. So don't be in there trying not to hurt him. If accidents happen, it happens. You just win. And, and Anthony Joshua, he, he needs that. Plus, Freddie Roach, I mean, this guy has been through so much. Freddie Roach, the way he grew up, his dad was hard on him, kind of forced into boxing, um, you know, did pretty good as a professional, trained underneath one of the best trainers in the world, went on, stars lined up where he was down and out, got an opportunity to really train, went on, look what he's done with himself, right? And Freddie Roach is a guy who ended up getting, um, you know, injured, disease, Parkinson, all kind of stuff. So when Anthony Joshua needs someone who can mentor him and talk to him and kind of understand what he's going through, you think Freddie Roach hasn't been down and out? Freddie Roach knows what it is, you know, since a little kid to now, to know what struggle is, to know what mental mental, uh, mental health uh, struggles are, you know what I'm saying? And I think he'll be the perfect fit for everything that AJ is looking for. He'll get it right there with uh, with Freddie Roach. But he chose he chose Robert Garcia because Robert Garcia is a good talker. Robert Garcia is a good trainer. Like I'm not going to sit here and try to downplay Robert Garcia. Like I, I'm not going to do that. Robert Garcia is a great trainer. But I also think Robert Garcia was afraid to tell AJ, "Look, shut up and listen." I, I, I think. He just was out of his element, is honestly what I think. But AJ chose to ditch Robert McCracken and go on and do something different. It is what it is. But I, I'm not sure McCracken should have shouldered most of the blame for AJ's defeat to Usyk in that first fight. If they want to blame anyone, let's just be real. Blame Andy Ruiz, okay? Andy Ruiz is the one to blame. And Andy Ruiz is the one to blame for the second loss. And Andy Ruiz is the one to blame for Joshua right now, for his whole career to kind of be a, be, be, be a disaster and turmoil of him trying to you know, look for an outlet and travel around and visit different trainers again. Let me tell you, you can't leave your mind behind. Doesn't matter where AJ goes. If he doesn't deal with what's going on up here, it's not going to work out. But I do think the legendary trainer, Freddie Roach, is the answer. He's already offered to train him. And I think that 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 I think the door's still open. It's just for Anthony Joshua, man, to, to to go out there and really spend some time. Like if he's taking time off, he's not married. I know he has a child. You know, go on down there to California. Spend 90 days and see how it is. And and, and I will say this. He better do it. If he goes there before he goes to Pensacola, Florida, he'll never go to Pensacola, Florida. Anthony Joshua wants to drive the nice car. He wants to be in Hollywood. He wants to train. He wants to, you know, have a good time. You know what I mean? That's what happened with him down there in Miami, Florida. Down there in Miami, enjoying himself, everything. Got in there with Andy Ruiz, thought it was going to be an easy fight. And Andy Ruiz, uh, you know, quesadilla his ass in the ring, didn't he? So now you got to sit here, Anthony Joshua, and figure out what the next move is. But he likes that kind of atmosphere. You know what? Going out to the California. But I tell you what, he's going to take training serious. You know why? Because he's going to have, uh, he's going to have, what's his name there? Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach don't care about no damn Eddie Hearn. Freddie Roach don't care about nobody. He cares about training and for these guys to go and win, win fights and knock people out. So again, Freddie, Freddie Roach already, uh, Said he would happily invite him in there. He's welcome. Um, he wants to do a couple of runs with him, check him out, see what he's about. And he's like, look, man, you can come on home. And there's no more Rob McCracken, Freddie, uh, that Joshua needs to worry about. But I think I think he needs to be bring Rob McCracken back on his team and then maybe get Freddie Roach involved. But I just, I don't think his coach is the one that caused, caused the issues. I, I just don't think that, man. You know, and although... Rob wasn't a controlling person at the time, and he's open to whatever is best for AJ. I think at this point in time, Rob would be happy to kind of enter the equation again and say, hey, well, maybe we can make another tweak. I'm back, but let's go ahead and bring somebody on board and just see how it works out. But we'll see, man, because Joshua wants to get titles back, and I just don't think he's going to get any titles back, man. He was saying before the, the Usyk fight how he's just in straight war mode. He's annoyed. 
He's boiling, doesn't even want to, you know, even when he speaks about it, he has a passion to win. So, and I believe him, I do. But a couple of interesting facts about him is he started boxing at 18. Then, shit, he won uh, Olympic gold in 2012. He turned pro in 2013, won his first belt in 2016, beat Klitschko in 2017. Then he got beat by the first time by Andy Ruiz, came back. Clip Pulev, jumped in there with Usyk, lost, got back in there with Usyk, lost again. So it is what it is, man. Big Femi, Anthony Joshua. He got a long middle name, boy. Born in 1989 at Watford. <clears throat> Worked as a bricklayer while he was an amateur boxer. He loves Nando's and eats around 5,000 calories a day. The face of Lynx, Lucas A, JD Sports, the Beats headphones and Under Armour. So he got it together, man. He got it together. It is what it is. But that being said, man, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, Anthony Joshua. Don't go to Pensacola, Florida. You know what? It's good to go visit and hang out with Roy Jones for about a week. But after that, get the hell up out of there. You need to go to California, chill with Freddie Roach at the Wild Card Gym. I think that's the fit for him. I think that's a trainer for him. Mental health issues, everything. The confidence building, being a knockout puncher. Freddie Roach has had everybody through that gym. He's touched everybody. Roy Jones has it, okay? It's different. This is a different situation. What AJ needs, he needs like a Teddy Atlas, uh, um, Sugar Hill. But I really think Freddie Roach is the guy. I think Freddie Roach is the guy. Will he do it? I don't know. But I honestly think Anthony Joshua needs a hookup with Freddie Rose. Like, that is the answer. But anyway, y'all leave your comments below and let me know what you think. That's just my opinion. And as always, shout out to everybody from all seven continents. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a donation if you want to. And y'all just keep safe, man. Keep supporting me. I appreciate it. Try to keep the videos coming. And as always, in the breeze.